What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to episode one, part four of Telltale's Game of Thrones. And like always, let's just jump right into things, because we heard the piece, and you know, let's get into things here. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Not so. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. You'll get us in trouble. <laughs> We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well, Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Please, Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath to see my brother bend the knee. Ramsay? Roose Bolton's bastard? I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. 
And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Sisters wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. Oh. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Listen. Uh. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, 
Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan. Maester. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I'd no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Mercy, go! Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers, three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Leave the Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Three fingers. Sorry, sir. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. Oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! <clears throat> that was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Hater's gonna hate. Not just yourself, of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. I know someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom, who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. 
Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Duncan. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the Sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. That's all there is to it. You're all worthless and weak. Thank you. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I think Duncan was the right choice. Well, for me, I guess. I don't want some guy kicking legs around in my town. He's gonna hate me though. Oh. Beard always wins. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Roiland is gonna chirp the shite out of me. He's gonna go on a raz fest. Oh, bollocks. Roiland's gonna... He's gonna... He's gonna finger me solid. But you know what? I might enjoy it. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... This is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. Of course he will. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Roiland. Now, sentinel... What do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can handle Ramsey Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. 
I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Oh, shake. Sugar boogers, if I may. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's fudge and meet him at the gate. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. Oh. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore! Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed! Look here. Not another word. Your father would not approve, my lord. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is... volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it... He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I thought she was saying it's Asher. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you.
I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Okay, fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Alright guys, that is it for part 4 of episode 1. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been super awesome so far. I can't wait to do part 5. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, slam a like down, slam a subscribe down. Check out the old Twitch. If you like watching me play games, you know, maybe you probably don't, but maybe you do. And if you dislike it, slam a dislike down and let me know in the comments what I could improve on. And I will see you guys for next episode. <laughs>